Welcome to our Wednesday Eucharist with prayer for healing. We welcome those who are present with us and those who are watching live um, in this country and abroad. We offer this service in a different form to usual. The laying on of hands is offered remotely from a safe distance as you stand at the base of the step. Our prayer is that in some way you will experience something of God's healing touch upon your life this day. And we hold in our hearts the particular suffering of the world during this pandemic, especially for families who are far apart from one another. And today we especially welcome the family of Concepcion as they remember her before God with love and prayers. Prayer for healing can be received for oneself or on behalf of another in need. You may wish to name them as you come to stand before um, the altar later. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We meet in the name of our risen Lord, who knows our every need, who hears the cries of our hearts, who feels our deepest pains, and who heals our wounds. Amen. In Christ Jesus, God's love is made fully known, and through Christ's passion and resurrection, we are healed and brought to new and abundant life. We now offer ourselves to God in faith, renewing our confidence and trust in his inexhaustible mercy. God of mercy, Lord, Lord of, life, of life, you are, you are tender, tender towards, towards your, your children, children, and your, your mercy is, is over all, all your works. works. Embrace, Embrace us with your love. love. Heal, Heal the memories of hurt and failure. failure. Bind, bind up, up the wounds of past mistakes, and, and by your forgiveness, forgiveness make, make us whole. whole. The passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, whatsoever good you do or evil you endure, be to you for the remission of sins, the increase of grace, and the reward of eternal life. Amen. Amen. All-powerful Father, may we who celebrate the feast of St. Bonaventure and St. Swithin always benefit from their wisdom and follow the example of their love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that, according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses all knowledge so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. You have only one Father and he is in heaven. You have only one teacher, the Christ. Alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you only have one master, and you are all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you only have one father, and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. 
the greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Barack Obama was once asked a question by a group of young people. What is the secret of leadership and the success that you've had in your life from quite humble beginnings? He thought about the question and everybody was waiting for his answer. This was when he was the president. What would the answer be? Would it be about being a great speaker? Would it be about being a strong personality or having exceptional skills or courage? This was his answer. Be predisposed to see the power in other people. I'll repeat that. Be predisposed to see the power in other people. Quite a profound answer from the President of the United States. True leadership, true power, is drawing out the power and the dignity of other people to be whom God calls them to be. That kind of leadership is in short supply these days. Ego, vanity, defensiveness, and popularism amongst world leaders seems to be on the increase. The way of Jesus, however, is diametrically opposed to that kind of power. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. Jesus drew out the power and the dignity of his disciples. They were a pretty rum lot, but through his servant leadership, they discovered world-changing gifts of evangelization and ministry. Today we remember in the church's calendar two people who, although serving the church with great distinction, weren't particularly concerned with their own image or preferment. St. Bonaventure, Franciscan friar and bishop, used his great learning and intellect to lead the Franciscan order Interestingly, given recent events in the Church of England, he turned down being Archbishop of York, um, but eventually he was appointed as a Cardinal Bishop against his will. He kept the papal messengers waiting while he finished the washing up. And then St. Swithin, Bishop of Winchester, he asked to be buried outside Winchester Cathedral so that his grave would be a humble grave, uh, exposed to the footsteps of all the worshippers and to the elements. He wanted a humble grave. However, when the new cathedral was being built, his remains were moved to a shrine in the cathedral, despite dire warnings that to move his bones would bring about terrible storms. And according to legend, it rained for 40 days and so resulted that English expression about St. Swithin's Day, which it is today. St. Swithin's Day, if thou dost reign, for 40 days it will remain. St. Swithin's Day, if thou be fair, for 40 days will reign no more. So I don't know if it's rained or not so far, but if it does, watch out for 40 more days. The English are obsessed with the weather. We all have power in some way, all of us. Power of words or actions towards other people. How do you use your power? Do you use it to build people up or to break them down? May we, like Bonaventure and Swithin, let Jesus build up in us what we can offer to the church for his sake not for our own aggrandizement, 
And may we in turn be predisposed to do the same for others, to see the power in other people. To end with another famous American, Maya Angelou. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Amen. Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to God. Heavenly Father, we pray for your church throughout the world. We ask your blessing on us gathered here today and on those who are joining us electronically. on all bishops, priests, and people, especially on those who can't gather at the Eucharist. We ask your blessing on Sarah, Bishop of London, on Francis, the Pope, Justin of Canterbury, and the Eastern Patriarchs. Today, we pray for Francisco and all his people in northern Mexico, for Bishop Idris and all his people in Bari, in Nigeria, and for Father David and all at Chelsea Old Church, praying too for St. James's Roman Catholic Church and Hind Street Methodist Church here in Marylebone and for the Moravian Congregation in Chelsea. Fill us with love and humility as that you gave to St. Swithin and St. Bonaventure. Give us a spirit of service. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for Her Majesty the Queen and her government for all in authority under her. We pray for all the leaders of the nations and those with power and authority, that they would have hearts after that of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, meek and lowly. We ask your blessing on those who serve us in public life, on the emergency services, the social and health services, and the armed forces. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who work for peace, for the spread of education, and for the good health of all, we ask your blessing. Praying especially for the World Health Organization and those who work to battle the COVID-19 virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bind up the brokenhearted and comfort those who mourn especially the friends and family of Concepcion. We ask for the healing touch of Jesus for Royston, Jill, Wyndham, Ron, Lewis, Lee, Oscar, Joyce, Leia, Evelyn, Sumbo, Lola, Peter, Jean, Sabina, Constance, Lloyd, Graham, Adam, Brian, Cheryl, Paul, Celia, Ewan, Jeremy, and any we know to be sick in mind, body, or spirit at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, give a share of your victory over death to Divine, Oliver, Concepcion, and all who have died recently. We pray too for Orla, Adepeju, Joan and Gertrude on their year's mind. Give to them a place of light, refreshment and peace in your eternal love. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let like light perpetual perpetual. shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask the prayers of Swithin, Bonaventure, Blessed Mary, our patron, and all the saints, for ourselves and for each other. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou, my woman, and blessed is the fruit, fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. 
Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour, hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these, these prayers for the, the sake, sake of your Son, our, our Saviour Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. As we stand where we are, we share the peace visually with one another. Peace be with you. We sit while the altar is prepared. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this. Same way, after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for all for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. 
Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. There we Though are. we are many, we, we are, are one body, because, because we all share bread. in one bread. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sin of the world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world. Grant, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy Lord, to receive you, but, but only say, say the word, word and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, may we who receive the sacrament be inspired by the examples of St. Bonaventure and Swithin. May we learn to proclaim what they believed and put their teaching into action through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we, we thank, thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Strengthen us in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. We now come to the moment of the service where we invite you to receive a prayer for healing. If you'd like to come to the front, uh, leaving distance between you, and stand on the um, blue carpet, we will be praying for, for healing for you. In the name of God and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you wholeness of body, mind and spirit, deliver you from every evil and give you his peace. Amen. In the name of God and trusting in his might and name, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you wholeness of body, mind and spirit, deliver you from every evil and give you his peace. Amen. In the name of God and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you wholeness of body, mind and spirit, deliver you from every evil and give you his peace. Amen. In the name of God and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you wholeness of body, mind and spirit, deliver you from every evil and give you his peace. Amen. In the name of God and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you healing of body, mind and spirit, deliver you from every evil and give you his peace. Amen. God and trusting in his might alone. May Adam receive Christ's healing touch to make him whole. May he know wholeness of body, mind and spirit, be delivered from every evil and know Christ's peace. God and trusting in his might alone. Receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. 
May Christ give you wholeness of body, mind and spirit. Deliver you from every evil and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of all compassion, by the dying and rising of your Christ, you restore us to yourself and enfold us in your love. May we, we who have been refreshed with the, bread, with the bread of life and the cup of salvation, salvation. be, be renewed, renewed by your healing spirit and made ready for the coming of your kingdom through, through Jesus, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God our Father, by whom we are called to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, and by paths as yet untrodden, give us faith to go out always with good courage, knowing that in the power of your Holy Spirit we are made strong, and that your love will never fail us. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, and all those you love, now and forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.